Morning. Well, today Lisa and I split up. She's going to Kensington Palace to display on the uh, uh, some of the fashion, and I am going to the HMS Belfast, a uh, World War II warship that's uh, parked in the river. So I just started walking through here. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a little uh, courtyard on the way to the ship. Uh, I got uh, stopped by security here, told me that uh, couldn't take video. Uh, with my professional camera, not really a professional camera, but uh, they, uh, they stopped me and had to get permission and uh, they gave it to me, so I'm going to make the most of it. I'm glad I finally got some video. This, this is the walkie-talkie building, the building we were up at, uh, the 35th, 36th floor the other day. Right, sitting right on the river. Well, this is the HMS uh, Belfast moored here in the Thames. This guy is uh, about uh, four times, maybe more than that, uh, bigger than the, the ship my dad was on in uh, World War II. Okay. So what's that that's like? And we go down here, and we, of course we can see the famous uh, London Bridge. I took you a tour on uh, took you a tour of the other day. I'm giving this nine decks to explore here. The ship was built in uh, 1938 on the Arctic. Uh, fired some of the shots of, first shots at D-Day and uh, saw some service in the Korean War. So here we are walking down the gangplank. The ship. <laughs> Six inch gun turret. HMS Belfast six inch guns opened fire on the Normandy coastline in support of the troops who would soon land on the beaches. This is the worst journey in the world. Some of them slept. People in this uh, part of the ship. Wind direction, northwest, force 12. Wind is uh, showing for emergencies. They uh, got sent up to the gun turrets on this sort of device here. And the two sent to the lodging platforms in the shell room and magazine decks to which that was written. The shells got stored in these uh, containers until they were the put onto this little carousel and, and sent up. Could accommodate up to The, uh, the gyro compass down here, about four decks below. Here's the uh, helmsman's position. There's actually multiple decks below the uh, below the bridge. So the captain would call down orders, and the uh, ship is actually steered from here and uh, through a series of cables and hydraulic uh, devices would. Uh, Change the rudders and uh, and also the, um, the ship speed. It was sort of a direct line, depth-wise, from here back to the uh, back to the rudders of the ship, which is why they actually the steering's down here. That's really interesting. Didn't know that. It was a senior ratings mess deck, and where where uh, you all slept. Um, after the ship was refurbished in 1959, the no longer, crew no longer slept on hammocks. But in bursts like this, 
It's uh, the crew's bathroom. Making my way down into the boiler room and the engine room. There's a turbo generator here. There's a uh, steam driven evaporator. Could uh, take salt water and make uh, fresh water out of it up to six tons an hour. Here's where they uh, controlled the, uh, the speed. A one for uh, cruising, one for a stern, one for head, and uh, here's where they got the instructions from the from the captain's bridge, from the captain on the bridge. In addition to another steam-driven turbo generator, is the turbines. electric power. The auxiliary machine in this compartment includes a set of twin evaporators located on the port side. This is the uh, Admiral's bridge, so he could uh, control the uh, ships under his command. So he's not necessarily the captain of this ship, but uh, he was uh, on this ship and controlled other ships. There's this chair, which I'm going to sit on right now. Here's a little desk. This is part of the wireless office where all the communications was handled. Radar. Looking forward. Here, some charts, radar. It's all up on the bridge. Some more radar. And the bridge itself. Got the navigating officer. Captain. This is the uh, navigating officer sea, ca sea cabin. It's uh, right off the right off the bridge. Actually, it is right on the bridge. Well, I had a great day here on the HMS Belfast. Um, and I would highly recommend it if you come to London. It uh, costs about uh, 22 and a half pounds. Um, and uh, I might, my uh, tour through here, my walking tour through here took me just under two hours. So um, if you're looking for something interesting to do, I have some relatives who might have been in World War II or something, uh, you know, or uh, you're interested in World War II, this is, uh, this is a really, really interesting tour and I highly recommend it. So, until next time, you know, may uh, your suitcases always be messy, and uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Hasta la vista!